This place is special. Built more than a century ago, our building is the legacy of a group of business leaders who answered the call of their time. What they built was much more than an office building. It was a headquarters for the business community where every industry could gather under one roof and speak with one voice. Can you imagine 100 years ago what it took for all these state and local chambers to come together by the only land facing the White House and build a building that just existed to represent business here in the nation's capital? The impact has been profound. As President Reagan said of the chamber eight decades later, no organization has done more to foster the spirit of enterprise in America. The mission is global now. The mission is more in need now. But it never changed from why we got started, and I hope it never does. Today, this building is one of the most important convening grounds in Washington, a place where U.S. presidents meet with CEOs, where regulators, legislators, and innovators come together to resolve differences and solve problems. When foreign heads of state visit Washington, they often make two stops, the White House and the U.S. Chamber. Today, we believe the Chamber is entering its most important chapter yet. With the accelerating pace of global economic change, our work to build a bridge between government and business is more critical than ever. But while our staff and our work are cutting edge, our historic headquarters has sadly begun to show its age. It is one of the few landmark buildings in Washington that hasn't received a major investment. Restoring the building, refurbishing the building, keeping the building at the center of the American business community is really important. You know, on one hand, we're in this digital age where we can all connect, we can all use technology to connect in a different way all the time. But there's nothing like face-to-face. -face. There's nothing like problem solvers getting in one room and taking care of business. In the words of President William Taft in 1912, we want your assistance in carrying on the government and the business welfare of the country. We need your assistance and we ask for it. Bringing our headquarters into the 21st century will require an infusion of capital from those who believe in the potential of this place to shape a better future. If you walked through this building and looked at the Hall of Flags, for example, which depicts the whole opening of the Western world and has the flags of all the explorers, you get an idea why this is so important. It will require a new generation of business leaders to answer the same call that was answered a century ago, and by doing so, to leave a legacy that will stand the test of time. Whatever is going on, however we're communicating, however we're working together to make sure that we keep the strength of the founding fathers in this country and the fundamental strength of an enterprise economy, it'll be happening here.